Well, well, guys, it's time for the final and my favorite segment here on the show. It's time for me to give you your top five web moments of the week. Now, these are topics that have been heavily discussed on all platforms of social media and also the net as well. Now, these are not my personal, I don't know, chosen topics. These are topics chosen by you. And every week I put out a disclaimer pleading and begging with you guys that these are just my personal opinions concerning these topics. I don't mean to offend anyone. And if I do, do take a chill pill. I'm just having some fun. All right. So let's kickstart the top five web moments of the week. At number five this week, I don't know how true this is, but according to a couple of blogs out there, NDLEA seemed to be coming for David O concerning his Fans Me video with Meek Mill. Yeah, well, if you haven't seen the video, I don't know where you've been living. You've probably been living under a rock. But just in case, the video is, yes, interesting, but there's a whole bunch of... I don't really want to mention the drug that is, I guess, suggested in the video um, but there's a whole lot of white powder involved in this video yeah and apparently now NDLA are obviously looking for David O because they're wondering how this was in fact approved how he could have possibly shot a video and whatnot well here's my take on the whole thing I don't know because obviously it was just a video so I don't really think that maybe I don't know I really don't know how serious they're gonna take this situ this situation but if I was to sit down with David Doe I would say dude trust me the collaboration with Me Meek Mill cool stuff but um you're a role model without a doubt and um, if you're gonna be using those type of images in videos I don't really know what you're trying to let us that are watching no. Are you trying to say that you're a drug pusher? Are you trying to suggest that maybe you are? I get the whole you trying to, you know, feel like, you know, a bit of, what's that um, Italian movie? Oh, Scarface. Yeah, but, you know, not everyone has watched Scarface. Not everyone can really get Scarface. And it, Scarface is still a negative role model. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I just really think there could have been other ways to execute his point without the use of white powder. Because loads of young children look up to you. They do. Anyway, let's hope that this all blows over and in all honesty, NDLEA is not looking for David O. <laughs> Moving on to number four. At number four, now for the past, shall I say, two weeks or so, everyone has been discussing this whole fiasco of, um, well, between Yetunde Bustline and her ex, Baba T. Um, first of all, she put out a video of herself basically accusing him of emotionally, physically, and all forms of ways um, abusing her and cheating on her and just be basically just speaking really, really negative things about him then he put out his own reply saying that she lives um a false life and that she was the one who was begging to date him and blah 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 then she has now responded saying that hey that was an old video because in all honesty <laughs> when i watched the video the first time i was like girl why would you like speak about your ex like this when I say like this, I don't necessarily, I'm not even bothered about what's going on because in all honesty, I don't really know her. I, I, I know she was an actress or she's an actress, but I don't really, you know, I've never watched any of her movies. So I wasn't really like, whoa, let's try and find out what's going on here. But what caught my attention was her hair in the video. Girl, why is your hair like that? Anyway, when she made the response after Baba T's um, response, she was claiming that she sent that video to him ages ago or to his people, his friends ages ago. And now he has now posted that video as a way to get back at her because she would never want her image to be like that. Yes, girl, trust me, those braids, I don't know, that was nasty. Like, I was just more concentrated on your hair and how ridiculous you looked as opposed to what you were actually saying. Yeah. Well, let's just hope this all blows over. And this goes back to my same topic. Stop putting your dirty linen outside. Gosh. Anyway, number three. At number three, huh, it seems that no one wants to give Kylie Jenner a break this week. I mean, after the whole thing with Tiger, I don't even want to dwell on that too much. But you know what I'm talking about, hopefully, yeah. You know, the whole infidelity thing with Tiger and um, uh, transgender. She has now even had to deal with being, um, you know, uh, shall I say, what's the word? Being attacked, yes 
by Amanda um, Steinberg, who is the actress in The Hunger Games. Yeah. Now, apparently, this all happened because... Um, why, why did this happen? Oh, yeah, this all happened. <laughs> you know, when it comes to teenagers, I'm always like, oh, this is not none, none of my business, really. But anyway, I will still give you the full gist. This all apparently happened because Kylie posted a picture on um, Instagram of herself with cornrows. And Amanda basically um, put a, uh, a, should I say, a comment under the photo and was like, girl, why are you trying your best to, in a sense, be black? You know, you're not necessarily trying to promote um, other things sides of being black like how black Americans now are being treated by the police force in the United States and blah blah. Either way what really 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 caught my attention though was um, Kylie's response back at Amanda where she was like look go play with Jaden. <laughs> I was like, wow, girl, your comebacks are actually good. Now, just in case you don't know why she said that, um, Amanda apparently took Jaden Smith, um, Will Smith's son, to her prom. So she's just like, girl, basically that response is like, I'm not in your league. Go play with your little, little child friend. Anyway, yes, we all know that, yes, Kylie, being the 17-year-old that she is, she is living it so large, way larger than your average 17-year-old. She literally looks like she's 28, if I can just add that. So, yeah, she's just basically telling her that I'm not in your league at all. Which is, which in a way was a good response, which in a way was a good response. And even Justin Bieber himself has even gone further to defend her. Anyway. I don't know. I don't really care about teenagers, in all honesty. But it just seems that everyone is... This is just Kylie's week. This is Kylie Jenner's week. So I just thought I should speak about it at number three. So let's move on to number two. At number two, yes, the Kardashians are at it again. Yep, we had Kylie at number three. And now we have Courtney at number two. Yes. Her long relationship with her baby daddy, Scott Disick, seems to be over. I really had faith in these two. I know that Scott gave her a lot of drama, but equally, she gave him a lot of drama. In all honesty, I think the Kardashian girls are full, full, full drama. Anyone that they will be with, they will give them drama, and you have to be a really, really strong man to be able to handle that. Now, it seems that Scott has had enough because he has been seen and spotted frolicking with his ex-girlfriend. And I guess when um, Courtney found out about that she decided to dump him and now she's thrown all his stuff out of their home I'm just hoping and praying that Scott is still going to be in the next seasons because they've been paid for what four seasons after this or three more seasons which I guess they got hundred million dollars for or so so I'm just hoping that Scott is a part of this because I really like Scott on the show I think he kind of brings some sort of sanity in his own unique way so I'm hoping that they work things out. In all honesty, I thought that they, they were going to be together for a while and eventually maybe Courtney would accept his and, um, and proposal. But um, it seems like maybe not. Hmm. As I said, Kardashians, I don't know. I don't know how the men that have dated them have done it. I really don't know. They seem to be full of a lot of drama. Anyway, let's pray for them. Let's hope that they return because I like them as a couple. Anyway, moving on to number one. And at number one of your top five web moments of the week. Mm. Now, this I kind of briefly mentioned at the third spot because we were talking about Kylie Jenner. Yeah. Well, yes. I'm about to talk about the whole scandal that literally has gone on this week concerning Kylie Jenner and her boyfriend, Tiger. Yeah. Now, apparently, in case you guys don't know, Tiger was um, the focus of a lot of, shall I say, social media talk, mainly because of the transgender who has come out and opened up about her hookup with um, Tiger. Apparently, Tiger likes transgenders. Who would have ever guessed? <laughs> anyway, what is really interesting is that she actually has full proof of this. Um, she has loads of nude shots of Tiger and nude shots of herself in uh, messages that they exchanged with each other. And it's, it, it just gets so, so, so dirty and nasty. And I'm just like, whoa. Kylie, you're only 17. How can you even be involved with someone that is in this sort of circle? <sighs> Either way, what seems to be quite interesting, though, is that um, recently they have Kylie, meaning Kylie and Tiger, have stepped out on um, date night. So it seems that she's not really bothered by this. 
maybe she knows after all her dad's a transgender so maybe she's okay with it i don't know but i really really i i believe that there's no smoke without fire i honestly think that tiger does like his ladies with man bits as well so yeah maybe i guess they have reached some sort of understanding and apparently they're still dating so good luck to them anyway that's all for now thank you for joining me on your top five web moments of the week